Hello, my friends. I am here because I have been working on this amazing page. Let me just lift you up a little bit more so you can see better. What the results of what I'm doing. And this is hard to get you high enough to see. But anyway, you can see well enough that what I have done is measured three inches from the top and three inches from the bottom. And then I drew the line. And then I colored this part in all the way across. Just makes a whole different look. I saw it on um, one of the videos of a lady who does all kinds of them different ways and I thought that's really cool I gotta try it you know how we are found something new I gotta try it so I've started now the second page in our trying to get it straight Botanicum book by Marie Toller and what we're going to do I, I started coloring these in because I thought how boring for you have to set and watch and also in this but I left a little space here and I left a few of those so we're going to color the flowers and and uh, the butterfly and the little birds we're going to make them little bluebirds and I thought that would be really cute so let me get you back down here where I can see you and I'm going to tilt you a little bit so the light isn't shining directly in here and so let's get started so what i've done is the centers of these flowers are jasmine and i used uh, my uh, parma violet and lavender and just kind of mixed them all up so I just come through here and I just try to do all of the little centers. And that one I went over with some purple, so. Oh, it did show up a little bit. So this must be pretty, pretty strong. So I'm just giving it a good little mash in there because I'm not going to come back and go over it with anything once is all i want to see that okay i think i got them all but if not we can always come back so what i did is i just started switching back and forth got a little fuzz on there and i'm just coloring these in and I am pressing a little bit because I don't want to come back and redo these nor am I going to add another color so I'm just filling them in with a little press down like that and it's just going to make this flower just a little bit of a variety. I didn't know whether to use yellow for the centers on this one or not. I um, went ahead and chose to do so, as you can see. And we're going to make our little butterfly in the yellows because... My little girl on the other page has a yellow dress. So you can see why I went ahead and did most of them. It's because I didn't want you to have to sit here and watch this. me color them all. Oh, I'm going to get done and I'm going to go ahead and get this one uploaded tonight. 
let's see. I'm just trying to spread these out and then I'll come back in with the other color. There's a few more up here I didn't realize. All right, let's switch colors for a while. And it doesn't matter if there's a few together in the same color. Because I if you look at it, it looks it it looks really pretty and I tried not to put more than two of them next to each other or three within a little group. Like here's one, that's okay. And there's one on that side, that's okay. So that's kind of th my three. But here's three here, so I can go ahead and come down here. I'm not really that philosophized. <laughs> I'm just kind of just eyeballing it, to be honest. You know me, I never know what I'm doing until I do it. Those who've been watching me. I have another book I haven't even colored in like this at all. But there is one other color book I thought would be cute. It's that bird that's got the weird little eyes. And they're kind of funny looking little birds. But I might get him next month. Just hang on to get some of these books I haven't colored in, at least colored in. I think I better just follow through with this one because I'm looking around this area and seeing I've got a lot of Find it together. I live close to the airport, but not that close. And I think they've changed their flight patterns for some reason. Yesterday I heard them going zoom, zoom, zoom. It seemed like all the time. When you can imagine how many planes are coming out of Denver Stapleton anyway. Now, once I start getting down here, I need to start paying more attention. So I don't have a whole bunch of them all grouped together. And that's pretty much where we're at. We're almost done. Okay. Well, nope. 
better put this one in here, see? Because there was like four of them in a... If I'd have done that, there would have been a whole little group of them. A group of them. <laughs> I just need to talk plainly. Slow and plain. I started listening to one lady today, and I thought it would be interesting to see what she's colored. But some people talk so fast. And I suppose I talk really slow. I don't know. Okay, I guess. Well, I think I'll do the... Do the purple. And then we'll switch. And we have one little one here, so I, it's... I guess it could be purple. Darker. It doesn't even have a yellow center. See if I can find it now that I took my eyes off of it. There it is. All right, so then I just took mm, Cerulean Green. Yep. And I just started finding like the little blank spots that are stems and follow them down just like that. That's all I'm trying to do is just and I'm not going to worry about this green. If there's a lot, I can just give it a little light coat. See? So like from here, I could just kind of color it in. doesn't have to be dark. And that will just keep it from being white, white, you know. So let's go ahead and do our little butterfly. And I left out a lot of yellows. So, I think we're going to use, what is that, sand and goldenrod and yellow okra. Let's start with these. I think we need to do a yellow, though. Yellow, yellow. So, let's do the canary yellow. And let's fill in all the little, the little spots. How would that work? It looks like that would work good. I'm going to leave the little tiny ones for a darker color. And then I go ahead and color them. So now I'm going to use this yellow okra and let's just kind of go on the outside of him a little more. See if I can very lightly cover over 
of the little ones. Like that. Just want him to look pretty. Okay. So now I'm going to take my goldenrod, and I think I better put a little sharper tip on him. And then I'm going to try and do this. Like that. Now to brighten those up. And I'm thinking just along his edge of his. Let's just brighten that up a little bit. Wherever we can. Okay, and I'm going to do what I usually do and shade that up a little bit. We're doing inside the yellow, just a little bit. that'll work and then his body I got some sepia here Works pretty good. Starting it more on the bottom. I think that's pretty, pretty much what we're gonna do. And then this leaf, uh, the stem. Okay, we're going to do some lime green, a little bit on one side, because if, if I do it all this color, even though it's going to disappear, so I'm just going to add, and our little birds are going to take longest, so... to the edge. And this is our, I should remember this by heart, cerulean green. I'm 
And our birds are going to be blue and white. Little blue birds. And there's a song about a little blue bird sitting on my shoulder. And then I'm going to come back in here. And I'm going to make a little circle just to let it blend together. There we go, that works pretty good. We kind of started losing it on this side, so I'm going to just add a little more. But I want that little tiny edge to be another color because we're going to fill in that side too with this color. And I think we'll switch to I'm just looking for something that let me see what this is. Lemon peel. Now it might be working good. It's still too close, isn't it? I don't like that. I want something just a little bit darker, but not. How about this passion green? I think that's going to be a little better. That little bird's hanging on for dear life. All right, so now I'm going to come back in with my cerulean green. I'm going to soften that. I'm going to try to be careful not to take it all out or I'll have to put it back in again. Okay, I'm liking that. So now we're going to save this little page till the end and let's work on our birds. Let's see what we can do to make them pretty. So we're going to use the same colors I used on the little bird on her head, which is light cerulean and cerulean uh, blue. Um, and some white. So, I'm thinking, let's start with this little guy. And I'm going to do a white base. Just by starting out. And filling in this area with white. Okay. And we can actually come down farther into his chest. I kind of wanted him to have a little white chest, but it can blend, blend 
in and out. So on our other little bird, we started out with this, just the cerulean. And I have this pencil pretty sharp, so I don't have to press to get the deepest blue out of this pencil pigment. I'm just going slow and just letting it fill in. I'm just making these little lines so that it'll be kind of jaggedy. He's going to be pretty brilliant. Okay, so now let's take our lights, Cerulean, and gently just fill in a little bit around his face. We can go back and forth across this hard line just a little bit. You don't want to do too much because it's going to really come on down into here. Just working our way to fill all this in. And we've already put our white, so it gives it a nice, creamy, smooth, even color. That's why I like putting a light base underneath and then coloring on the top because it's already put down your wax so you're really just color coloring over the top of the wax and we want to try to keep your strokes going the way the feathers would go I picked this bird because <laughs> it doesn't have all the wings we have to deal with on the other one. All right, now
I'm just going back over it and trying to smooth, smooth it out. And let's see, do we have a lighter? I don't know if this one will work. What is this? Caribbean. No, it's too light. True blue, maybe. I'm just trying to find something to give a little bit of highlight in his chest. So this is true blue. Come back if we get anything too hard. I'm just softening that line. Make sure I have the right color. Okay. Now you could add some lavender in here. It would just give it a little bit more, but you'd want to do it really light. Like what is this? This is a gray lavender. We'll just give him a little bit of a highlight in here. And you wouldn't want to do much. Just a little bit to add a little tiny bit. Okay. All right, so now I want his belly. Again, I want it to be kind of white, but I didn't put any white in his wing, so this light cerulean should be darker than what we did in here. Again, I'm just working it. With my wildest imagination, what I want this little bird to look like. And so far, he's turning out pretty nice. Just going over it with the lighter color. Okay. Let's leave it like that. And then his little tail feathers. I'm 
Let's work our way down to the tips. And this is true blue. I'm just going to work it down here at the end and work it back up. Now let's take our white and I'm going to blend I'm going to take my deepest blue that I used on the top of this head and I want to come down here to the very end of his little tail, I think. I think right underneath here. Okay. Kind of like that. Just highlight it wherever you think it might need just a teeny bit. Just to give it a little spark. So, I can't remember if I did this or not. I'm going to try sky blue light. On his little belly. And that's not white like I wanted it, but I think it will work. I'm going to just Work this down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and just kind of leave, try to leave this area light. You have to get those crumbs off or you can't tell. What you have or haven't done. Now let's take our my white give it a little bit of a 
light. Okay, this is the light cerulean again. I'm just going to darken it up a little bit right around in here. And down in here. And then we'll take our white. Now let's take the blue down here. This is a little darker, so. And I'm, I'm happy with that. So now we need to do his little his little bird legs. And his beak. I'm going to just take this because I have a very sharp point on it and just go right behind his eye. And now I'm going to take this mythical rod. It is. And just at the very beginning, just a little bit. Let's see if I can get that little tiny spot there. And let's do his little skinny legs and feet. And then we'll take the golden rod and just kind of fill it in. And then we could actually take, this is sepia, and just do those little, lines across it that the little birds seem to have. And I'm going to take this rose clay and let's do these little toenails like that. Man, that little bird's got some claws. Okay. I like him. So now, a little bird in flight. So let's start by doing his body. After I get a drink of water. <laughs> All right, so. Cerulean, light cerulean and cerulean. Okay, let's see if we can duplicate this. I think he turned out very pretty. That's my opinion. <laughs> And there's many beautiful artists on here. They can do amazing jobs. But the point is, are you happy? <laughs> okay, now this is going to be a little different. Because... We were only supposed to do his head.
We'll figure it out. I think I'll just leave it about there. So can we get a deep blue like we did on the other one? Okay, and then we wanted to take our white which I did first I should have done it first I didn't I think we'll be just fine Let's just work on that part first. Let me sharpen my pencil. Okay. Leave that little white spot again. It's still picking up some of that darker blue. try to do this part before we go down into that that blue and um, since I kind of made it too dark I'm going to take my kneading eraser just like a knead bread that's what this is called a kneading eraser and it has no crumbs And it will pick up a lot. Maybe we'll take off that top part. And you just kind of smash it around and get that color mixed in and it just disappears. I don't know how that works, but it does. Okay, that's better. Now we can work a little more. That won't be so. Whoops, is that the right color? Nope. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> light. Okay, we want the cerulean light. Okay. I 
think that'll work out just fine. I've had those erasers for years, actually. That little ball of eraser. They last for a very long time. Okay, so I need to take this sky blue, and I'm just going to mix it a little bit with this. I think we did pretty good. So we just did real lightly some of these little areas right here. And then we kind of came down his nose a little bit. Just blending this out. Okay. And then we just took our pencil and kind of came underneath his eye. A little bit of over it. So now. I think kind of underneath him here, we colored this all in with our sky blue. You can see that took that eraser took most of that out of there even though it left he left the most of the color now we're just working on his belly and his underside. And I'm not sure what happened there. But let's come back in with our cerulean light. Maybe we can kind of
try to get all these little places. Try to leave his little underside. Use our light blue again, our sky blue. Just kind of blend this, soften it. Okay, let's see how that works. So now, let's take, we didn't put no white in here, so let's see if we can just Work this light cerulean blue into this. Trying to go the same way the feathers go. This is all his little armpit. <laughs> I'm just coming back over it again and darking in it and filling in. And then I think I'm just across the top. Let's drop in some of this darkest color. And then start blending it out. Kind of like that. So I think find a blender. I have a paper one here. If 
these are called stumps. So it would be, if you wanted one, you'd have to look it up. They come in lots and lots of sizes. And all you do is sandpaper this, this off. Sometimes they work wonderful for certain things. And that just blended that nicely in. Okay, so now I just want this top of his first wing to be just a little darker. this back in this light cerulean so I'll make sure it stays lighter so you can see that wing difference I don't use them a lot, but when you need to kind of blend a certain area, they do work really nice. And I found if you have a lot of marks, because your paper is getting shiny. If you just rub your finger back and forth like that, you're not really taking anything off, but you're taking out all the marks of your pencil and all the stuff that um, accumulates. So let's Let's get his little eye done, too. And I'm not going across the front. But I did go across his eye, which is not good. always like to darken their eyes up a little bit from just the blackness that the color book did. I did not turn out as good as the other eye. And I think this is just too high and too thick. Give it just a little tiny sharpen. 
That's better. So, his little legs need to be done. Let's see, we started the lightest color first. For a second, I thought, what am I coloring? I messed up. <laughs> Okay, I just set that sepia down. Where did I put it? Oh, it's in my hand. Okay, so now let's work on these little tail feathers. So we're going to use our light cerulean, and I'm going to just color Color it in. Okay, and then we're going to take the true blue again and just come up his little tail feathers a little a little ways okay and I'm going to take our light sky blue and I'm going to blend this till it's nice and soft and then I'm going to take our dark cerulean and just come up the very end of his little tail feathers again. And just a little bit down in here. There we go. Move all these out of the way. I think he's turning out pretty. I think we're doing okay. So we can just where these little black marks are with our deepest color, maybe just just light. We don't want to do too much, just a little bit. Like that. So let's do our light cerulean, that's true blue. There's light cerulean. So we're going to color in all of these little wing feathers. I'm not even giving it a lot of color, I'm just getting it to cover. like that. See, and 
I put him off to the last because I thought, oh, I don't know about how to do this. But I think it's turning out. I need new words to describe instead of how about quite lovely. I think that's what the English say is quite lovely. Very lovely. We should have a spot of tea now. At your success. So I think though right here Let's see if I can soften this line a little bit. Like that. I don't know if that helped or not. All right, so then what did we do? We went with our true blue. True blue, come on. And... little bit here maybe we maybe we didn't I think I used the dark blue okay the true blue was down here And then we used our very dark one to tip it, right? All right, then I think we took our, yeah, our sky blue, kind of blended all of this. I guess lots of pretty colors in there then. Now we took our dark cerulean and just tip the edge of the wings. I'd like to hear what you guys think about this, doing this little box. She did them in all sorts of ways. If I can find it, I'll put her... link in the uh, comments. Okay, and then we just kind of darkened it from way up here. And let's take our blue
go blue. Okay, I think that's quite lovely. <laughs> All right, so now we need our cerulean blue, which is this one. And we did it, oh my gosh. Okay, now our true blue. Then I'll show you how I colored this. This line. And got a smooth. Took a little bit of work, but it smoothed right out. Okay. I think that turned out really pretty. And we got a pencil mark up here. It's not going away too easy. Let's look at our birds. Let's see. There we go. Look at our flower. Oh, I love the birds. They turned out really nice. So now let me find my green and then I used Not the blue. Okay, so I took my cerulean green. There it is. And my French gray 10%. And I just colored this all in. And you want to go slow so you get a good coverage. Pretend like you only have a small little space at a time. And just do that one little space. 
And don't move until you get it all in. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not smearing my little bluebird all over the page. I probably will want to spray them. You want to go in all directions. And it will smooth out. And then we're going to take our French gray and go over the top of it. because it still isn't going to be real smooth. Until you get that last little topping on it. Okay, we could start right here in the corner with our 10% French gray. And now I'm going over the top of it. I'm going to keep going until it gets all smoothed out. And you will get to the point that there is no white left. Again, all you have to do is take your little finger and it'll take out all the lines. Anything that's being ugly. So you're almost, to me, looks like I'm taking off a little bit of the top of this green and smearing it around. into all of this and then when you get all done it's going to be nice and smooth and it's going to be very pretty just like that and we're almost done So you just keep, keep working it, and it's going to turn out very, very pretty for you. To get a good smooth line, you just kind of have to fill it in and then go over it in the other direction. And 
until you get it all done. Just like that. And I think this has just turned out amazingly pretty. I'm excited. I can't help it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing when I get started. I just start. And that's what you got to do. You just got to make your mistakes. Jump in there and do it. Sometimes I've erased a ton when I got started first started there's a few pages I just hate <laughs> I just couldn't figure out why why <laughs> and I think it's because I didn't follow my instinct I was trying to do something maybe I don't know but usually when I just start and I just let it flow. And a lot of times I don't even know what colors or what I'm going to be doing. But it all turns out for the good. I don't know why, but it does. But again, I've made mistakes. And I'm still learning, we're, we're, you know? See how soft that made that? That just, you just kind of, I don't know if you're mashing it in there or what, but it just turned out soft and beautiful. And we are done with these two pages. And I think, let me get the pencils out from underneath them. I don't know if you can see all of this. I just want to show you up close how soft that background ends up. How pretty our birds turned out. Look at that. Didn't they turn out pretty? And if you didn't see this little page, that was the uh, little girl with the bird on her head. Um, now I'm going to get up higher so that you can see the whole thing. I think... I think I got you. Okay. There you go. It's really pretty, isn't it? It's different. But the, the little birds turned out pretty. I love the, the background. I like it. So if you like it, will you give me a thumbs up? It really, really is like giving me a quarter every time you like my... not. Honestly, you're not giving me money, or nobody is. But that's what it feels like. You're just giving me a tip. But if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. So that my channel will get more and more known. And um, I'm putting a lot of work and practice and time into learning how to do this so that I can show you. And... Um, if nobody's told you today that you're special and you're wonderful and you're amazing, I'm telling you today, don't let anybody tell you any different. And you have an awesome, awesome day and a weekend. Love you all. Goodbye.